YouTube, what up? It is your guy Resurrection, and I am back with a jersey video for y'all. This is going to be an unboxing, and I'm super stoked for this because this jersey has been something that I thought I would not get anytime soon because of all the hype that has surrounded this jersey and this player, but I got it for a great deal, and I pulled the trigger, and it finally came in, so... Ooh, I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Alrighty, y'all, so... Right here, I am holding a USPS envelope. It's a mailing envelope, so it's not really an unboxing. I, I guess this is like an unbagging, whatever you want to call it. Nonetheless, this is something that I have been wanting to get. It's customary. Like I said, your boy comes prepared with the knife. Boom, be careful. These are very, very sharp people. And let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all, so. As you all know, this is brand new right here. Yes, you can see part of that 23. You already know where this is going. Bam! Brand new, still sealed in its factory bag, y'all. <laughs> you already know. Of course, there is the little gift wrapping. Bam! Look at that, look at that. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I'm holding right here the 91-92 Chicago Bulls Mitchell Ness Authentic. The Michael Jordan dubbed as the Shrug. Michael Jordan. Whereas others refer to him as the GOAT, MJ, or Black Jesus. A raging bull that was determined to win it all during the 1992 NBA Finals. June 2nd, 1992. Clyde Drexler, also referred to as the Glide, was one of Portland's top contenders and one of the hottest stars in the NBA. But that would not stop Jordan. He immediately answered with six three-pointers during the first half of the game. Backed up by his teammates, they dominated Portland throughout the entire game and ended with a 122-89 final score Bulls. Jordan, amazed at himself, was in awe. Trying to prove himself to former legends, he pointed himself towards Magic Johnson, who was their former rival in the 1991 NBA Finals. He simply threw his hands up with a shocking facial expression, hence, the shrug was born. Real, real nice jersey. As you all know, you know, Michael Jordan scored six three-pointers in the first half of this game in the NBA Finals against the Portland Trail Blazers. He went hard in this game, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was uh, I was really, really young when he played in this game. I think I was like four years old. Watching the highlights and, and everything and being a part of that and just being alive and witnessing greatness right there. Like, this jersey right here is super hot. You guys are wondering, there are no like twill numbers or letters at all with this jersey. And I think Mitchell Ness really did a great job. Sometimes they're a hit or miss with the quality. Personally, for me, I think that they really, really executed this perfectly with this jersey right here. Let me get a hanger real quick for this Jordan jersey. I am so glad to finally have this in the collection. This is an iconic jersey. It's Jordan. I mean, it's the greatest of all time right here, the GOAT. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna try and break this down for y'all. Jerseys, number, and letters, everything is heat pressed on. There is absolutely no embroidery, no stitching, twill involved in the jersey. The only thing that is embroidered on the jersey, of course, is the jock tag, and then you have the NBA embroidery, the Jerry West logo. That, that those are the only things on this jersey that are stitched, embroidered, twill. You have this beautiful heat press of the Bulls and the number 23. You know, it's a super heavy and thick heat press on the jersey, both front and back of the jersey. You have Jordan's last name that is heat pressed in that red, and then you just have that giant 23 that is heat press right there. Mitchell Ness, obviously in the beginning, you know, when they first were around, they did not have license. Um, rights to do Jordan's, you know, use his name for branding, but um, they actually scored a uh, contract with Jordan, so now they are able to produce his jersey. They've been pumping them out, a lot of them. They've done a lot of them. I, I, I think that they still have a few more to make that they haven't done yet, but you know, for the most part, they've brought a lot of iconic ones that they, they made. And unfortunately, I mean, they sell out super fast, um, like hotcakes, man. I mean, every time a Jordan jersey restocks or comes out, it just sells out instantly. And, you know, it's really hard. I've been fortunate enough to get these jerseys for slightly under retail if they're brand new. Um, and then even if they're pre-owned, I get them under retail because I don't want to be having, having to pay top dollar. But unfortunately, Sometimes that's kind of how it goes with hot players like Jordan. It really doesn't get any hotter than Jordan, you know, unless maybe you got like a Kobe jersey right now. Rest in peace again to Mamba. The black band, you guys are probably wondering what that is right there in the shoulder area. Uh, that was actually 
to pay tribute to a Bulls employee that worked for the Bulls organization. Cherry Berto, I believe was her name. Um, she passed away and the Bulls wanted to pay her their respects by putting that little band right there. So they did wear it later, or 91, 92 season. So that, that's a great gesture, you know, much respect. And then also, of course, you know, this is the white version of this jersey. You know, you have this really nice white um, vintage traditional looking mesh. You have your red, your white, and your black. So, you know, typical Bulls colors. There's really not much to say about the Bulls jerseys just because they're just so iconic and simple, yet so iconic, you know? They're like timeless classics, if that's what you want to call it. On the neck tag, you have the Mitchell Ness Nostalgia Company neck tag along with the red tag of the size, which is a 48XL, which is my size. And then it comes with the Hardwood Classics tag with a hologram along with the Mitchell Ness Nostalgia Company. Of course, the Mitchell Ness jog tag, you have the 9192 above along with the Hardwood Classics Authentic tag right there. Pretty much broke down the jersey's components for the most part. I don't know if I'm missing anything, but again, like I said, you know, Jordan, you know, he went hot. He went in hard this game during the NBA Finals, game one against the Portland Trailblazers. Literally scored, you know, six three-pointers the first half, and he kind of shrugged and looked at Magic Johnson, and that's kind of how this jersey goes down, you know? That's how you know, like, yo, I'm not playing, you know? I'm, I'm here to win. Like I said, you know, Michael Jordan, you know, my favorite of all time. It's the GOAT. It's MJ. So it's pretty much self-explanatory. Shout out to everybody again. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed that little review that I did of this jersey. It is now in my possession. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much going to wrap up this unveiling for y'all. I finally have this jersey in my collection. I can knock it off and check it off the list. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, if you have, thank you so much. Leave a like, comment, share the video, whatever. Um, all that great stuff. And I will see you guys on the next one. One, two, three, bulls, let's go. Yeah.